Hi everybody. Well, we came to another Friday, didn't we? It's the end of this week. And um, this is our reflection for today. What did we learn today? Well, we learned a lot, didn't we? In the morning, we did the calendar again with Miss Judy, the days of the week, the months of the year. And it's always fun um, doing the songs, the calendar songs of Miss Judy, isn't it? Also for our daily focus, we had a nice little dance party, didn't we? Um, and Miss Judy was playing uh, the Ghostbusters song. I know there's a lot of you out there who like that song. I kind of like it too. It's kind of fun, especially the way Miss Judy um, dances with the music. And I hope all of you uh, joined in as well. For our read aloud, we read In the Garden. And In the Garden was a book about different plants that grow in, in, uh, in a garden. In this case, so there was lettuce growing and different types of grass growing, right? And um, there was animals that were also attracted to things growing in the garden. And they, they looked at it as food. Like, for example, the rabbits might like to munch on some of that lettuce that was growing. Just like we like to um, munch on food that is in a garden that we can grow and eat. And for song and movement, um, Miss Maria did a great song for us, didn't she? We always enjoy that with Miss Maria. For building blocks, we, um, for math, we did 10 frames. We're, this time though, we mixed up the cards, didn't we? We mixed up the numbers. And I hope all of you um, played along and enjoyed that game as well. And you could even try that game at home with your families. Maybe you can make up your own double 10 frame cards. Uh, for our experiment, we did a follow-up to see what happened to our white flowers that were placed in food coloring. And we found out, didn't we, that the flowers changed the color of the food coloring, didn't we? So just like uh, Miss Judy's celery experiment, it, it, what it showed us was that the water moves up the stem of a plant and then goes into the leaves and goes into the, in this case, petals of the flower, and it changed the color of the flower according to the color of the water. So um, that was a very interesting way of learning that plants need water to survive. And um, I also want to take this time to uh, say a very special goodbye to each of the children in our class because everyone is important in our family, classroom family. So Aditri, I hope you have a good weekend. And Arham, you also have a good weekend. And Atisha, enjoy your weekend. Ava, have a good weekend, Ava. Uh, Kayla, have a good weekend, Kayla. Charlotte, you also have a good weekend, Kayla. I mean, sorry, Charlotte. Gustavo, have a good weekend, Gustavo. Habiba, have a good weekend, Habiba. Jerry, you also have a good weekend. And Calden, you have a good weekend, Calden. Karma, also you have a good weekend, Karma. Miss Feek, enjoy your weekend, Miss Feek. And Shana, have a good weekend, Shana. Uh, Tenson P, you have a good weekend, Tenson P. Uh, Navid, have a good weekend, Navid. Tenson Y. You also have a good weekend, Tenson Y. And Tristan, enjoy your uh, weekend, Tristan. And Sharing, enjoy your weekend, Sharing. And Zachary, you also have a good weekend. And to all the families of the children out there, I all wish you a very good weekend, as well as a very healthy one. I hope all of your families are staying healthy at this um, time. I know it's hard on everyone being um, shut in so much. And um, I know all you children out there, remember to wash your hands. Well, again, I wish everybody um, to be safe. If you are celebrating the holiday, I also wish you a happy holiday if you're celebrating Easter. And um, after this video, I am going to send um, a picture of the homework uh, that, that we're going to have. We are going to have videos all next week, um, 
as you know, because uh, spring break has been put off. Okay, bye-bye. See you next week. Have a good weekend, everybody.